Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I want to talk to you about cost. How much does it cost to encapsulate a crawl space? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, waterproofing, and dehumidification. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunity. So this is kind of a loaded question. All right, it is very difficult for me to give you specifics on cost and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna give you some generals on cost, okay? Just so you know, all of these Bob Vila's and Angie lists and all these people say that it costs about $5,000 to $15,000 to encapsulate a crawl space. And I'm here to tell you that no one has ruined the cost factor for home remodeling more than these DIY videos and all that. I remember watching, you know, some landscaper say they spent $300 and mulched their yard and it made their outside worth, you know, 30 grand. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So what you have to look at is that everything has gone up. Everything, fuel, insurance, labor, materials, nothing has been hit harder in our industry than plastic. Anything and everything we use is made of plastic, right? The vapor barrier's got plastic in it. The dehue's got plastic in it. Our tools have plastic in it. You know, everything is plastic, right? So what I'm gonna share with you is some things to think about, about cost. So if you're gonna DIY the crawl space, your cost, your dollar cost is going to be less, but I wanna share with you something. What's your time worth, okay? So if you're an executive that's making, you know, $150,000 a year, and you decide to jump in your crawl space and encapsulate it, how much did you really save uh, by doing that yourself? So, you know, how much is your time worth? If you're on the, the lower end of the, uh, of the income scale, it could save you quite a bit of money versus paying a crawl space encapsulation professional, but also keep in mind that it's gonna take you a lot longer. You know, I recently did an interview, actually it's not that recent anymore, it was a couple of years ago. I did an interview with a gentleman in the Air Force that, re that encapsulated his crawl space during the pandemic. And I believe he said it took him three to four weeks straight to do his crawl space. He did soda blasting and all that sort of thing. So imagine if it takes you three to four weeks straight to encapsulate your crawl space when you could hire someone to do it in three to four days and it's done and you don't have to deal with it. So that's the biggest factor that I wanna share with you is the labor factor. If you're gonna do it yourself, gonna save a lot more money than if you're gonna pay somebody, but at the same time, paying, paying uh, employees is different company to company as well. We pay our employees pretty good. The ninjas that go out into the crawl space and fix the crawl spaces, they've been with us for years, a lot of them, because they make pretty good money. Now, if you want me to go out and hire, you know, some work release or go to Home Depot and throw somebody a T-shirt where I'm paying them eight bucks an hour under the table, you know, that guy's going to be charging you a lot less. OK, so those are the I know, oh, by the way, that guy doesn't have insurance either. Not registered business. What happens if that gentleman that he picked up or that lady that he picked up at Home Depot with that T-shirt gets hurt? What is that going to cost you? Okay, so all of those have to be factors that have to be considered in crawl space encapsulation. All right, so let's get into some of the other things that I want you to think about. I love reading blogs, uh, you know, by, you know, different people. And this one is, is very interesting. It says, uh, you know, crawl space encapsulation costs anywhere between $1,500 and $4,000. And I want to share with you what they, what they mean by crawl space encapsulation. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Uh, light cleaning, I don't even know what that means. What is, is, are they cleaning out the crawl space or are they cleaning the wood? I don't even know what light cleaning is. They don't really say. Vapor barrier, well, are they throwing down, you know, Home Depot six mil black plastic? Are they putting up, you know, a 12 mil? Are they attaching it to the walls, wrapping the pillars? Is there any tape? Because they don't use, they don't mention tape. They just mention vapor barrier. Sealing. Again, S-E-A-L-I-N-G, I have no idea what sealing is. Are they sealing the vents? Because if they are, they're not putting in a dehumidifier. They even say no dehumidifier. Of course they're not putting in a dehumidifier. No unexpected problems. Good luck with that. 
you know, uh, there's all kinds of unexpected problems in a crawl space that you got to deal with. So if you're doing light cleaning, installing vapor barrier, sealing, no dehumidifier, no unexpected problems, according to these people, it'll cost you $1,500 to $4,000. But let's look at a more realistic proposal because, you know, basically we're looking at cost of a crawl space encapsulation, you know, plastic, dehu, active ventilation system, installing, uh, electrical. Nobody ever talks about that. What's going to run that DHU and that active ventilation? What if you got standing water in a sump pump? You know, that's got to be installed. You got to put electrical. How much do electricians charge uh, to run three or four outlets in a crawl space? It's, it's, not, it's not cheap. That alone is probably a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars to have the electrician come out and do that. So that blows that fifteen hundred dollar price out of the water. So let's look at some other variables. Uh, the cost of crawl space encapsulation, I already talked about uh, labor and, and your time that you value and all that sort of stuff. But another one is the size of the crawl space. That is a huge factor when it comes to cost. If you've got a 500 square foot crawl space versus a 4,500 square foot crawl space, that's a huge difference. I don't know if you all seen the video where we, we went in and redid uh, a crawl space and it was a $25,000 redo. It was a 30 500, I think it was, it was either 3,250 or 3,500 square foot crawl space. They charged them $25,000 to do it wrong. They didn't even do any mold. They didn't pull the insulation. They didn't, they didn't put in the proper waterproofing system. As a matter of fact, they laid the pipe on the dirt. So they didn't even dig to put in the pipe. That was $25,000. We had to come back in and redo it and we charged $40,000 to redo that 3,500 square foot crawl space, and it was done. Soda blasted, another sump pump. The pipe was actually in the ground. You know, the vapor barrier was immaculate. Everything was set, all that. So this $5,000 to $1,500 estimate that you get from these people is a little bit ridiculous. Another variable that I want to talk to you about is the work or the type of work that you're having done. As I mentioned before, if you're just throwing down black plastic and sealing something and cleaning something, that's really not gonna take a lot of time. That'd probably take a day or less to throw down black plastic in a crawl space. But most of our crawl space encapsulation projects average around four days, all right? So if you don't have mold, it's not gonna cost as much. If you do have mold, it's gonna cost you more. If you don't have flooding, it's not gonna cost you as much. If you do have flooding, it's gonna cost you more. If your crawl space is short, in other words, it's you know 12 to 18 inches tall, that takes a lot more labor than a three to four square, uh, three to four height crawl space. On the other hand, if your crawl space is nine feet tall, that takes a lot more labor. You got to get a ladder out, go up and get the insulation out. We've a, we've even done crawl spaces twenty two feet tall on one end. These houses in Gatlinburg that are built on the side of cliffs. You got one side that's two feet tall, and the other side's twenty two feet tall, and you got to put some roofing ladder up that thing on unlevel ground, it's dangerous to do that kind of stuff, but those are the kind of situations that you gotta look at. The other thing is, are you going to uh, put in a dehumidifier? A dehumidifier alone, if you decide to put in a dehumidifier yourself, you're looking at probably $1,100 to $1,500, depending on what model you get. So again, these are all factors that you need to look at. What I would look at instead of price is quality. What are you getting? Do an estimate, do two, three estimates, whatever it takes to get a feel for what people are charging in your area. Make sure that you go with the one that's creating a worry-free crawl space. On average, across the board, crawl space encapsulation averages around $15,000. That's about an average that we're looking at here at Crawl Space Ninja. Many of our jobs are about 15,000, okay? Some are eight, some are 30, but on average, we see some that are around $15,000. So if you just start with that number, it might help you out. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.